Hello, how are you? Yeah, okay. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for uh, preparing this uh, conference online. Uh, then my presentation about the alternation of uh, toxic heavy metals in atmospheric of Kalar, Kalar as Suleiman, the of the biggest city in Iraq. Uh, presentation about the termination of uh, toxic heavy metals in atmosphere in Suleimania city in Qatar, as Suleimania in Iraq. Uh, about the atmospheric pollution by heavy metals, it's an important problem in the world generally. Uh, the industrial activity of mines and the uncontrolled developments of uh, a large city during the recent past and the world generally has resulted in contamination of soils, water, and oil, also, uh, and air also. And uh, the, another side also, burning or composition of the fuels and uh, contributed to the produce a large amount of smoke, including the toxic, toxic material, toxic substance resulting from the fuel compulsions. In Iraq, uh, especially, because of shortage of electricity after 1991, the use of private uh, electrical generator has to predict up to reduce the power of uh, power outage. Generally, private generators are installed in any neighbors in, in the city center, in the city centers in any neighbors, uh, without being bound by environmental standards. So increasing the heavy metals concentration in the environmental, such as copper, chromium, lead, and et cetera, cause damage in the vegetations and sometimes civil injury to trees. Metals may inhibit several biological uh, processes, most of them you know better than me maybe, such as hydrolysis of the starch and source, and source as well as transport to the source, for, followed by the secondary effects for distributed nitrogen and metabolism. So the main purpose and the main aim for our study to measure the concentration of the toxic material or toxic heavy metals uh, for six heavy metals, lead, cadmium, mercury, arsenic, chromium, and zinc in atmosphere for our city in Kalar from Suleimani, as Iraq, as mentioned before. From different sites, we collected the sample from the different sites of the city. So during the work, the first one is uh, we started the sampling. We started the collecting the sampling. At the first step, uh, total of 14 ambient air samples are collected using homemade equipment by using air vacuum that's flow rate of 0 0.05 centimeter uh, uh, meter squared per, per second in color at different sites of the color, like industrial area, like traffic light, like uh, uh, and uh, near from the electrical generator because the main purpose, the, our purpose, uh, we want to study the effect of the electrical generators, electrical smoke generators in the, our air uh, of the city. Uh, and uh, during the taking of the samples for making a compose, uh, comparison for samplings and uh, for survey all the city, at the same time also we collected some another sample from the Greenland and from the city center that's crowded on that a lot of uh, vehicles and uh, it means generally we collected 14 samples for years in all sides of the sample from the crowded area and from the empty area from the Greenland and uh, from near to the electrical generators. The ambient uh, air samples are collected on nine centimeter diameters as the uh, ashness meter papers were 0.32 millimeter six with a particular retention of 1.5 5 p.m. They are weighted periods and after doing the sampling as for any process, for after the sampling and sample preparation, we would the spectral emissions uh, measured it by inductive coupling plasma optical emission spectroscopy that's from the across uh, spectrum from general. Uh, according to our, uh, uh, our results that obtained in the present study, the heavy metals have been 
determine successfully using the ICP or ESI inductive coupled plasma uh, with acceptable accuracy and precision. For the determination of the element, a series of the calibration curve have been uh, prepared as shown in the table uh, A1, and the results are for air generally we measured as, um, as shown in the table A2. To look at this uh, presentation, the table number one, the, the table A1, that's the, the characterized data or the calibration service for elements that you've seen for ICP or EA. We measured six elements uh, as uh, showed here, and that the equation for each element and R squared for all of them 0. 0.1990 or 1997, and uh, the wavelength that remains here and the linear range that remains here. Uh, if you if you are looking for for if you are, uh, see the table number two, that's the concentration range of heavy metals in milligram per liters uh, that you see the ICP or ES for each element. If we look in here, the cadmium that uh, determines arsenic and cadmium for all of the samples that uh, we determine is lower than the detection limits. It means all of them. Uh, all air is generally uh, are safe from the arsenic aluminum. Uh, for chromium, also determine it from the generally from the 0 0.2, 0 0.27, 0 0.22, as uh, showed here. And for lead, also uh, determine it, uh, some of the samples, uh, six samples that determine the the lead content and the another one that uh, lower than detection limits. And for uh, for AG, for mercury also determined, but it's very, very small one. And for zinc also determined. According to our results, according to our results we obtained, the leads, uh, the, the main source of the leads are include the gasoline because uh, in Iraq in general, uh, lead gasoline to now uh, that's used, and uh, that uh, gasoline contain a lot of uh, leads for improving the octane number and something like that. And uh, according to us, uh, we're thinking that the the main source of the lead from the air are the gasoline fuels from the car or the factory emissions and the electrical generators emissions as shown from the tables. And if you look at the tables, uh, the lead concentration in the samples from the 0 0.007 to 0 0.0185 milligram per liter that determines in the air. And the average concentration for air for lead in the air is 0 0.0557 milligram per liter. And uh, for zinc, for the ink mainly came from the tire wears and the motor oil, the grease brakes, uh, grease brake emissions, uh, etc. The zinc concentration that measured for our uh, during the, our study, it's ranged from the 0 0.047 to 0 0.4 milligram per liter. And the median and the concentration, the average concentration, it, uh, that's 0 0.123 milligram per liter. The lowest concentration that uh, related to S10 uh, near to the Greenlands and Inputlands, and the maximum near to the crowd area and near to the electric generator. For all elements, that's the same. For mercury, also, uh, according to the results that obtain, the mercury uh, concentration from 0.07 to 0 0.032 milligram per Little that's determined that measures from the uh, from the ambient airflow of the colors. And for chromium, the concentration also that determines from the 0 0.13 to 0 0.0 to 0.106 milligram per liter, the average concentration also 0 0.067 milligram per liter. And conclusions. Uh, 
the the our president the or the president word that was carried out for the first time in the color city and the results of the analysis show that the concentration of the cadmium uh, zinc uh, sorry that's zinc the uh, arsenic uh, the cadmium and arsenic uh, doesn't uh, lower than the detection limits where the pb zinc cover and the other elements are detected in conclusion, the samples S1 and S3 contain the highest concentration of the heavy metals and special concentration of the chrome and lead higher than the ore specification also. And uh, this area, this area that contains a lot of heavy metals near to electrical generator and near to the, that specification near to traffic lights because uh, of the crude. Uh, of uh, the vehicles. But finally, finally, according to the Directive uh, 2008-50EC, the European Parliament and the, uh, the councils from the 28 on ambient air quality and clean air, that's according to this investigation that determined the uh, concentration of some heavy metals with benzene with, with some other toxic materials, we can say, we can say generally, generally can say the killer city air till now is clean and safe, but for some heavy metal like lead, we can say that it's near to rain because according to the specification, the minimum uh, value for lead that's 0.25 milliliter that acceptable, where the, at the same time, the, our leads that, uh, we have the leads near 2.0.2. Uh, we can say in generally the, the leads and the mercury and the things near to the minimum of the standard, but then we can say this clean and it's safe for humans. Thank you for your attention. I'll, I'll read for any answer related to the, the study. Thank you for everyone. Thank you for your